Hey y'all, welcome back to Two Fat Girls. It's me, Mandy, and Beta Day something. Not Veda. Holy hell. What did I say it was? I haven't changed my calendar. Great, it still says August. It's Vlogtember Day something. I haven't decided what day I'm going to use this yet, so whenever this gets up, that's what day it is. So, first of all, this is Betty Davis Eyes by, is it Bet Carnes or Betty? I always forget. Kim, see, I got that all jacked up. But anyway, um, Brandon Flowers does an amazing cover of this song. And he's from The Killers. And when he went solo for that little bit, um, he, he did like an excellent cover of it. I mean, you should hear it. It's fabulous. Anyway. I want you the dream tag, Taming the Food Beast. She did it. It actually took me a little while to find it because she has two channels and I didn't know what channel it was on. And of course, the first channel that I looked at, it wasn't on. So there is 10 questions on here. And I'll try and be pretty quick because I don't want to take up like a million hours of your day. So first of all, or maybe second of all, because first of all, I had to talk about this song. Second of all, I'm really rethinking the color of my lips. I shouldn't have done this because it matches my bedspread and it's weird. Anyway, number one, do you dream? I dream a lot. <laughs> um, number two, what did you dream about last night? Let me see. Last night, <laughs> oh my God. Last night I had like this really cray dream about Richard Armitage. And Richard Armitage is like this beautiful, tall, dark, black haired British man. Um, he plays um, Thorin in The Hobbit, and he's done a bunch of stuff that, you know, you may not know. Um, but anyway, I had a dream, and first of all, it wasn't like a sexy dream. It was kind of a sexy dream, but it wasn't a sexy dream. I had a dream that he was like massaging my feet, which is really weird because I don't let anybody touch my feet. I don't even like to touch my feet. I have a weird foot phobia. I don't like people. I don't like, I don't like feet in general. And I especially don't want anybody touching with their feet, let alone somebody touching my feet. And that's what I have a dirt, had a dream about. I started out, he was massaging my feet. And then the next thing I know, we were out in the backyard having like a straight up tea party with my grandma. So it was me, Richard Armitage, and my grandma having a fancy tea party in my redneck backyard. It was weird. But anyway, I ended up waking up, and that was it. Um, number three, how many dreams do you usually remember? When they're really vivid like that, I usually remember a lot of them. Like, I had a lot of recurring dreams as a child, and I have a lot of recur recurring dreams now. And... A lot of them I remember, especially if they're really, really weird. And I usually tend to dream after I've woken up and gone back to sleep, if that makes any sense. Or when I nap. That's when I usually dream a lot. Dirty dancing, yo. Um, what did it, was it like the 27th anniversary or something that just happened with Dirty Dancing? And it was fabulous. Um... Anyway, I'm not doing a Mandy's Music Monday. I'm doing a tag. So, number four. Do you have a dream journal? I don't have a dream journal. I kind of would like to get a dream journal. Just because I have so many freaky dreams that sometimes they're just like too... Like sometimes I wake up and I'm like, that was a really freaking awesome dream. And you almost want to like go back to sleep and see if you can like pick up again, which I never can. And you know, sometimes they're just funny and you know, you're like, you want to share them with people. And you know, sometimes I would share my dreams on Facebook and people are like, what the hell, Mandy? What are you drinking or eating before you go to bed that you're dreaming this? I am medicated sometimes, so maybe that has something to do with it. Um, but anyway, I would like to keep a dream journal, but I don't. Number five, how often do you have nightmares? Um, I have nightmares, but not that often. Like a lot of times my nightmares were usually, um, like I have like this dream book and I've read a lot of it. I've read most of it. And, you know, it has, like, if you dream about certain things, you can, like, look it up. It's like a dream encyclopedia. 
And me and Tiffers for a long time, which Tiffers is my sister, for a long time we got into like <clears throat> dreams and like um, Wicca and tarot cards and um, the art of like studying somebody's handwriting and things like that. And a lot of my dream or what I would consider my nightmares were because I have such we talked about this a lot before, but I have anxiety, so I have a tendency to keep my mouth shut most of the time. I don't like confrontation. I don't like telling people no. Um, I don't like telling people things I don't want to hear. I don't like being mean. Even if I know they're wrong and I'm right, or even if somebody is being mean to me, I can't be mean back. Like, it's just, I just can't do it. So a lot of my nightmares would be me like totally going off on somebody like literally like calling them every bad name in the book twice and then some of them were probably made up and then other times I would have dreams that I was like there was this next door neighbor that we had that was just the worst next door neighbor ever and he actually was so bad that we used to live next door to my grandparents. My grandparents actually moved away from them. That's how bad they were because he was like carrying a gun and all this other stuff. Like he was really crazy. And come to find out, not that I'm saying it's karma, but come to find out like after a few years after they had moved and we had actually moved, um, he shot himself and then he, um, set his house on fire with his wife still on inside and he tried to kill his wife but his wife actually made it out so I mean that's how mean this guy was so that's why I just want you to know why I'm dreaming this but I had dreams that I was like beating the shit out of him or like stabbing him you know and then I wake up and I'm like that was like that was an absolute nightmare because I would not do that in real life but the, you know, this dream book said, you know, like that's you getting your stuff out there, you know. So I had lots of dreams where I was just like freaking cussing this man out and just beating him bloody. So, so yeah. But I do have like weird nightmares about like people chasing me, people stabbing me. I hide in closets. I'm gonna have dreams about aliens. But it mainly, and you know, after all that happened with that guy, I've never had another dream about him again. So do with that what you will. Number six, do you lucid dream? Lucid dreaming is where you dream and you know you're dreaming, right? Or like you dream during the day. I don't know what that means. I'm going to find out. And I ain't too shy to be I like, I don't know what the hell that means. I don't know what lucid means. Siri's about to tell me. What is lucid dreaming? Did y'all notice that my phone talks British at me? It's pretty fabulous. A lucid dream is any dream in which one is aware that one is dreaming. So I was right. I'm not ashamed. I had to look that up. I don't care. <coughs> Sometimes, yes. I have definitely had plenty of those dreams because there's one dream. And see, I am like an elephant. I remember everything. And I remember one time I had this dream, and this is why I know it was a lucid dream. Um, I had a dream that I was, uh, they say in like your, in like that dream book that when you dream and you dream about your childhood, you're going to always dream about your childhood home. So whenever I dream, I dream about where I lived before where I live now. Um, we had lived, you know, we've lived like three or four other places, but that house is where I grew up. So whenever I dream about home, or I dream about a house, I always dream about that one. So I had a dream that I was hiding in my closet because there was this man after me. And at the time, my closet had no door. It was just, it, the clothes just hung in it. And I dreamt that I was hiding behind these clothes and the guy comes in and he's looking for me and he's like, um, he said something like, where's the female? And I was little when I was, when I dreamt this. So I mean, I'm talking like elementary school. And so I remember I'm dreaming and I'm sitting in the closet, like dream me is sitting in the closet. And I'm like, is it female or is it male? Because I was confused in my dream. So that's how I know. I mean, I guess that's a lucid dream because even in my dream, I'm like, 
wait a minute, did I say that right? You know, did my subconscious get that right? So, okay. Seven, do you dream in color? Yeah, I dream in color. I've, I've had a few where I haven't. Eight, do you dream in first person? So first person means from my point of view, right? There, I have had a few dreams where I've dreamt in, um, what would it be, third person? No, it have to be second person because I was looking at myself. So I, ha I have had dreams like that, and those are when they're like usually really weird, freaky dreams. Like one time I know I had a dream about zombies attacking, and I was dreaming in the second person. Right? Would that be the second person, or would it be third person? Second person is when you say you, right? So third person would be, who gives a fuck? I don't care. I know one time I dreamt that I was looking at myself. I wasn't dreaming through my own eyes. I was dreaming, looking, watching it like a movie. Let's put it like that. And it was about a zombie apocalypse, and we were digging a moat. <laughs> I told you I have really weird dreams. Number nine, do you have recurring nightmares? I did have recurring nightmares. I haven't had recurring nightmares in a long time. And one of them was about that old man. Um, when I was younger, I used to dream about snakes all the time. I used to dream there were snakes in my bed. There were snakes choking me. There were snakes chasing me. Um, I actually want to say that when I dreamt about, or is it dreamt or dreamed? Hmm. Should I ask Siri? No, who cares? Um, I, what was I talking about? I actually read one time that if you dream about snakes, it's not necessarily a bad thing, I don't think. It can actually be a good thing, but for me, it was bad. Like, one time I had this dream that I was walking out of my dad's shed, and the snake was around my neck, and it was, like, choking me, and my dad was standing there, and I was yelling for my dad. I'm like, Dad, get it off, get it off, and he didn't see that the snake was choking me. It was really weird. Um... And another recurring dream, which I've had as I've gotten older, so I don't know if this is like saying something, if it's like, you know, uh, what do you call it, intuition, or like I'm, I have some sort of psychic ability, um, because one time, nah, y'all don't care, but I'll be pushing a baby in the shopping cart at the grocery store, and then all of a sudden the baby just turned into a cat. So maybe I'm destined to be like a freaking, what did they used to call it back in the day? A spinster with like a hundred cats. I don't know. So I, I, I haven't had that dream in a really long time though. And number 10, have you ever had deja vu? I have definitely had deja vu and some of them have been like dream deja vu. So I don't know if... It would be like real life deja vu, or if I've I've lucidly, uh -huh, I know what that word means now, like I have been having a lucid dream, and I'm like, I think I've dreamed this before. So, but there's definitely, definitely been times in like my real life where I'm like, has this happened before, or did I dream it, you know, so. Okay, that's it guys. Um, I tag everybody to do this because I find this stuff very, very interesting in case y'all can't tell. Um, so yeah, be expecting probably some more tags for me for Vlogtember. And uh, I'll see y'all next time. Bye!